I have developed a new capacitors, which we can share with you. I don't know if you've shared the video before or not. At the moment, you make your capacitors this way. You make a coil, and you go. The capacitors we develop now, it needs to be tested, and you can test, it's very simple. You take a coil, that's the center pin, you make rings, not attached to each other, not as a coil. Nano cord, copper rings, or aluminium rings, one aluminium, one copper, you can change it as you like, or all of them copper, and let them loose on the, on the pin, on the gravitational pin. So, what you have, you have vibration of the energy amongst them, and how they vibrate, and you try to tap into the energy between these and you see what kind of voltages you get. Make a brush, and you see how you go. These ring capacitors are, very much can be used like amplifiers. If you buy those coils, the ring coils, you can go to the shops and buy these uh, ring coils, which are coated like this, and if you put them, and put current through them, where you if this is the north and the south, or entry and the exit of the coil, and you put a coil back to front, back to front, you'll find out these coils will start vibrating. And in the center core, you can produce huge amount of electricity. This was done by scientists in Belgium, and I was asked to assess how he does it. I built one, and the poor scientist, one of those who's been poisoned again with the liver cancer, by the Belgium authorities. Red Circle knows him. He used this technology of the vibration. And I just confirm, yes, it works, because he doesn't need the vibration of the two creates a current in the middle. Here you have a nano, which is a plasmatic condition. Now, the nano materials do not come together. It depends how you feed your energy from one to another, you get the flow. And the vibration of the rings creates totally different kind of energy. This is the transformers of the energy from the gas into the plasma. Do you want to mistake this up? You don't see it, but because these are all gas, and we know gas materials don't stick to each other, the field interaction between them creates the vibration. And that vibration allows you to create and absorb a spectrum of the energy, depends where you tap into. If you create all of these from copper, you see very little, but if you make a copper ring, aluminium ring, and ti ti titanium ring, and nano coat all of them, on the central pin, the same, do the same thing as you put with the ganses, with the aluminium and the rest, then you'll find out you create a vibration energy you need. These ring plasmas work as amplifiers, but depends how you do it, or you can do the same thing, rings over rings, you put them in and they vibrate and you create amplification or vice versa. This we have already, uh, Bernie has built them and uh, um, you will be testing in different applications of it. Is Bernie back in the background? Yes, I'm here, Mr. Kesh. Hi, Bernie. Bernie, uh, could you please show us if you have the picture of these ring uh, capacitors, please? Uh, let me get it. Thank you very much. So, you understand the development, and how you have to find, in how, and the way you nano-code these rings, it gives you a spectrum of the energies you can absorb from the center capacitor. We are testing very powerful systems of the capacitance, where, um, what we have, we use, um, is Douglas in the background, or we don't see him? I'm here, Mr. Gash. Hi, Douglas. Uh, Douglas, could you show us the matter capacitor with the aluminium foil, if you have it, pictures of it? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, you want one I've burned up, or one that I have not burned up? Both of them, both of them. These people have to open their uh, understanding to new ways of the energy and transfer of the capacitor. <laughs> One of the capacitors which is getting developed by the uh, Innovation Center, is that you have this center pin, which is nano-coated, your gravitational pin, and we don't use any more copper and paper. 
we nano coat um, the aluminium and we just put a gans on aluminium and then we wind across around the center pin so you don't have any more paper that there's a break point you have a very powerful system and then we put the what you call the second coil on top of the aluminium there is no, and we see huge increase amplification in power uh, when it has detected 1000 volts from a normal 220. So you can increase the amplification to 15, 20,000, which allows you to go into the transmission and conformation of the energizing the plasma. The other one which Douglas is working on is the copper is kept as copper in matter state and it does the other way. Can you show us if Douglas, you are ready or when we please? I'm, uh, um, let's see, let's see. I'm uh, still, I, I got one picture up of the one I burned up, but I'm looking, I'm digging through the other ones for one that's uh, assembled. And actually, I've got some that are disassembled if you won't be showing. Please, uh, you got, you uh, stop, sh I stop sharing. You can come in or if when is ready. Uh, Wernie, is your system, is, can you show your pictures first? Yes, I can. Uh, what I have, okay. Mr. Kesh, are the one that the, the rings are far apart. Uh, no problem. Just okay. show it the way we done it. Uh, you, sh uh, you show first, Wernie, please, and then we go to uh, Douglas to go further. These are, can you explain to us how it's made, please? Okay, uh, we have a center pin, a nano-coated copper. Wrap with aluminum. This aluminum is with GANs on the inner side. Then each ring, uh, we have rings, they are separate from each other. At first, I put it this way uh, to have some space, like the capacitor did by Douglas. But uh, at the end of the testing, we, 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 man we have to put them together that they interact more closer. Each uh, is individual ring touching each other uh, as a ring, just like an ordinary ring and nano coated. What we observe is, uh, by the way, the first ring on the far right has this extension wire that is connected to the center. And what we observe is the farther you measure the voltage, for say, from the center or from the first ring, the farther it goes to the farthest ring, the higher the voltage uh, potential you can get. And when you have all of these rings together, side by side, that they are touching each other, when you rub the other probe of the voltmeter across it, you get uh, higher voltage, very, very high voltage. Uh, and what we, when we, when Mr. Kesh asked me to measure the uh, voltage of each ring in relationship to the first ring, I notice an amplification as I go farther. Okay. Yeah. So you, you, there is no paper in winding. It's just the aluminum nano coated and gans coated. No paper. And by the way, the the distance of the ring to that of aluminum is they exactly fit, but you can still move them uh, side to side. But when you you stand up, you, you make it stand, it, it doesn't fall just enough to hold on the surface that it doesn't fall or move. But you, when you move it with your hand, you can slide uh, each ring. That's how it is fitted. Can you explain to us the, why we use and what we've seen in the, what you went from 220 to, to, to 1000 volt on the capacitor with the aluminum, with nano coating? Uh, yes, uh, when I noticed that when uh, they say you place a, a probe, for example, if in this in this uh, drawing you put a probe on once on on. Let me let me check my mouse pointer. <laughs> it is not working. Anyway, if you put your probe one probe here on the left on the right side and one probe on one, on another. And you move that probe, you put the other probe steady on one side and you move that probe across the nano, you'll see a spike, uh, literally a quick spike in voltage, several thousand, more than a thousand. 
at that moment and i when i noticed that oh it must be the interaction with the field uh, you have so you have motion then it, it it returns back to to in a form of voltage similar to what we have with generators when you when you move copper with uh, across fields across magnetic fields in this case we only move the matter part of the probe to this field and i see we don't just see it on a small magnet that high but in this case we see thousand volts more than a thousand volts you can try it on on your uh, setup you can verify it for sure you'll get the same uh, several uh, thousand volts from millivolts that's that's the difference millivolts to thousand volts that's a huge uh, potential okay what you just wait one second i have Um, what is important to understand is that the, why, this is how you create materials. If you understand this position of the rings and you put your source on one end and different rings and the field different different rings will give you different material underneath of it. In a way, if I can use the... Um, if I can use the option I have, yes. In the field from here, for example, and the field from here, you could be using, producing copper here, and you're producing zinc here. This is, this is the source, this is the beginning. So the heavier the elements, the higher energy go that way. As you amplify. These rings, in a way, is the same source system, as we explained, that's why in a matter state or in the plasma state, we can explain to you how things happen and where they go. Um, is there anything else you would like to add, Rani? Yes, now I see what we discussed earlier, Mr. Kess, in a meeting. This is yeah. what I am talking about, that we need a common ground. So yeah. I, this, now I see it, the thing in the middle is our common ground across those rings. Ah, now you understand what we're, what we're explaining today. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we have now a communication between the one on, on, on those on those rings, we have the graduation, and they are, we each can understand or can communicate with each other, we can go across, we can tap across, but all of these have a common uh, ground in the middle or they are on, on the same common uh, uh, connection. So it should be easy to, to find what we need from it, where we need from it. Yes. Okay, uh, is there any more, or we go to Douglas to see the uh, combination capacitors? I think Douglas can go, I'll stop my share. Thank you very much. Thanks, Renan. Bernie.